Welcome back. So I've been thinking where to start with uh, explaining git and, and I've decided to use the first command should be git clone. That's the first command we want to learn. Why? Because I feel if I'm a new developer, I would probably use git clone in the beginning because I don't have to know how to set up a repository on my own yet. I'll just use somebody else's repository and work in that. I might be wrong, but that's why I want to teach you guys git clone first. Now, what is git clone? It's pretty simple. What we want to do is we have some kind of server here. Let me just change the color here to green. We have some kind of server here in the cloud somewhere. This guy. It could be a GitHub server. It could also be your own server or something. And up there, there's a folder. In my case, it's going to be a folder with uh, called MVC something. And I want that folder not to be in a cloud solution anymore. I want it to be pulled down to my local machine here. This is a computer, by the way. So I want it to get down here, that folder. So pull the folder down to my local machine so I can start working with it. That's what Clone can do for you. It can just grab a folder from somewhere and pull it down to your machine as an exact copy so you can start working with it. Of course, adding some extra information to that using the history folder that we talked about earlier, the .git folder. So instead of being a stupid folder, it's actually a Git repository. Good. How do we do it? Well, I want to show you this. First of all, I want to show you the project that we're going to pull down. The project is this project I built earlier, a .NET project, doesn't matter. But when you go into a project on GitHub, you have some kind of, you need some kind of clone link. So where do I actually get the file from? It makes sense. I need to know the address of where I need to pull the file from or the folder from, the repository to use the right term. So I just click this clone or download. If you use Bitbucket or another server, there'll be another area where you can just get this link. So I find the link here and I just copy it to the clipboard or if you want that, just mark it and do a copy. And now I want to download it. So I want to go to my Windows machine here and here I feel that Git Hub desktop client has kind of a, a floor because I don't want to be locked into GitHub yet. I just want to download it. And if I want to use the Git desktop client, I actually, to do a clone, I have to be locked in. At least it looks like it. So I'm going to jump into the terminal right away and show you how to do this using some git clone commands from a terminal instead. Don't worry, it's not scary in any way. I'm just going to give you the basics to how to use the terminal. So either open your git shell from the desktop or go in here and uh, find the git shell like this. In my case, since I set up it to open inside C work as default, that's where I'm starting. If you started somewhere else, you can get to the root of your project by writing CD and a front slash. Then you'll get to your, the root of your C drive and then you can just track yourself in by writing CD that is move to this directory and then the name of the directory by just writing the beginning of the directory and doing a tap and then it'll autocomplete into work in my case and from here we'll do the git clone. Now I have to tell the system that I want to do a git command by writing git. And I have to tell the system the command name is clone. If you don't remember any commands, you can do a git help and then it'll actually show you all the available commands for git. I know my command is clone, so I'll do a git clone and then let me just scroll up a bit here so you can see it. A git clone and then the URL that I just took from here, I'm going to paste that in. Now I can choose to just press enter now and then it would actually create a directory automatically called mvc underscore secure underscore two underscore tier. But I don't want that. I want the directory to be called just mvc underscore secure. So by putting in a name in the end here, it'll actually generate a folder for me and I'll show what gets put into this. I'll press enter and it says cloning into the folder and this pops up starting to download the file. When it's done, it'll actually end up in the same directory that I was in before. So let me just check what's in here by writing DRR or show me the directory. I can see a list of all the available uh, folders inside this folder. I want to go into the folder I just created called MVC underscore secure. Again, I just used the tab key just to make it autocomplete for me. I press enter and now I'm in my MVC secure. And if I do a DIR again or DIR again, 
On the Mac, it might be LS instead, if you want to use that list, the path. But here, I don't, I can also do LS here. It can do everything. It's a perfect terminal. So I list all the files here that are now available for me. I'll try to explain you some of these files later, but now you actually just cloned your first project to your local setup. And let's just have a look inside um, the file explorer instead, just to give you an overview. So here we have the folder I just created, MVC security. And you'll notice that there's one folder in here told, called .git, and that's what make this, makes this into a Git repository. Don't ever delete that if you want to keep your history, because as I said earlier, that's what keeps the history, tracks everything that has changed. Okay, one more thing I want to do is, um, I just want to show you how you can actually see this folder if it's not there. Under view, I've actually selected show hidden items. If you're on a Mac, you have to just Google how to show hidden folders, and then you'll get information about how to do that. But here you have to select show hidden items because if I just remove it, you'll see it's actually not there because it's a hidden folder because we actually do not want you to tamper with this folder in any way. We just wanted to know it's there. So that was cloning another directory. Next, I'll show you how to add this directory to your um, GitHub desktop client. See you in the next lesson.